since we started using Discord, I've noticed you've used it every single time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Don't know where it came from, and again, don't know why. All right. And with that, hello, Internet. What is going on, my dudes? Yes. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Don't the you LP3. laugh at me. That was like a very judgmental laugh. Yes, I'm going to interrupt real quick because I was very was, upset by that. It was an interesting uh, yeah, intro there. <laughs> uh, this is the problem here. So, episode 31 of uh, the Land Party Productions podcast. I'm your host, yeah. Carlos, along with Ernie. The one and only. The one and only, that's and, true. All right. I mean, and it's just us, of course, because everyone else. Is yeah, like, it's just nah, us. We don't want to do it with is, you. Uh, yeah, they're all like, "Nah, we suck." That's exactly what they said too. <laughs> exactly what they said. Exactly. Some individuals can't even fucking wait until I wake up to say that. <laughs> so. <All> right. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's just the two of us, Ernie. So let's make this. I always say it too. Let's make this a quick podcast, and then I don't know where we're like. All right, well, uh, an hour later. Yeah, no, we we fail at it. So let's just uh, let's, let's do what we do, and um, yeah, if it happens to be quick, hey, cool. If it doesn't, hey, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say, but. Before we even fucking jump into any topics, I want to go ahead and share something that I've experienced in the past couple of days here. Oh. Um, and I don't know how bad the storm was on your side of town here, Carlos. Uh, but time to time it gets bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, the past couple of days, I have been operating on, you know, six hours of sleep. And uh, it was very shitty. You know, one day I just woke up at fucking 11, couldn't get back to sleep. No reason for it. It just happened. Uh. But the next day, when I was trying to catch up on sleep, because I didn't have to worry about working, this storm, this fucking bitch-ass storm, and this, <laughs> this was also after I had stayed up so I could do some daytime shit real quick because I needed to go grocery shopping. So I didn't even get to bed until it was like... 9 nine thirty, maybe close to 10 o'clock and um this is the morning for those of you that don't know i sleep during the day but uh i got to bed like i said this bitch ass storm comes rolling in and it like i've never in all my life been so rudely awoken <laughs> but this fucking like, <laughs> like i can only describe what scared the shit out of me enough to have me damn near leaping out of bed with like a crazed, like wide eyed yet tired expression on my face. Cause like I had adrenaline pumping through me, but my body and mind was just like having a hard time catching up. So I was just like in this weird, like in between of like ready to like, like fight or flight type of instinct type kind of deal or just pass the hell out. But, uh, the only way I can describe what woke me up was just an explosion. Just a straight up sky explosion had me jolted awake, fucking scared out of my mind because I had no <laughs> idea what was going on. <laughs> and, oh my god. And, like, when, when my senses started to come to me, it, it took a few, like, a minute or two. I was like, what the fuck was that? Was that thunder? Freaking got up, looked outside of my window, couldn't see shit. It was just rain and fucking fog and mist, lightning and thunder. I couldn't see a damn thing. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Looked at my phone, saw what time it was. I was like, oh my god, I, I hate everything. I hate everything. I was so tired. I just wanted to go back to sleep. But I was wired at that point. I couldn't go nowhere. But, uh, yeah. Um, I was not a happy camper yesterday, <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, and only come to find out literally like 30 minutes later, storm's gone. It's just, oh. just peaced out. Yeah. yeah. 
I was yeah, so mad. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You showed up, exploded on top of my roof to wake me up, and then you fucked off. I am so mad. <laughs> it's not yeah, a good time. We've had a couple of days where, yeah, the thunder has gotten really loud. Yeah. Like, really loud. Like, I've heard loud Lately, thunder. yeah. Our storms but, have been really mean. Whew. Yeah, dude. Or as you call them, the bitch-ass storms. Bitch-ass storms and their sky explosions. That's all, that's all I'm going to call sky it right now. Sky explosions. <laughs> dude, that is what happened, okay? It was a goddamn explosion above my roof. <laughs> <laughs> it was not just, you know, thunder like someone just banging on a door or anything. No, no, no. No, someone set off a goddamn firework in my apartment. It was That's uh, another thing that yeah. continues to happen around my neighborhood. It's just fireworks nonstop. Yeah, people are still going for it. People are still doing it around my neighborhood. Every once in a while, I hear one go off. Hmm, that's pretty crazy. It, like, it lasted like an extra day or two after the forest um, on my side, but... Nope. <laughs> ain't nobody lied a thing since... <laughs> For me, it started about uh, two weeks before 4th of July, and it's been going on since. So I've been that having it for, sucks. what, about a, a month now? <laughs> yeah, that, that sucks. Holy crap. Yes, yes, it really does. My dog hates it. Uh, all right, I so. I feel like almost all dogs, not, animals in general, I'm pretty sure just don't like it. They don't appreciate yeah, it. <laughs> my cats, they're not a huge fan of them either. They actually like run around and hide and shit. And my dog, he just barks. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, well. gaming news. This is a gaming podcast after all, we believe. Ah, uh, So, <laughs> like I said, it'll be a quick podcast. Just have a few things to talk about real quick from Destiny 2. I guess an expansion called Beyond Light. Supposed to come out September 22nd. It's been delayed to November 10. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> why has it been delayed? Uh, let's on, uh, see. Uh, I think stuff, I, yeah, I think it's the COVID shit that's kind of been causing it to be delayed. Yeah, let's see. Um, uh yeah yeah that's just that that, that that caused a delay so it's supposed to come out september now november so about a month and a half delay i haven't played destiny 2 in forever and a half ernie i know you're a huge fan of destiny oh yeah dude i i no no i'm not <laughs> You can't even like it. <laughs> just, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like, I, okay, I tried to this. get the words out, but like my brain was just nope, shut it down right now. <laughs> like, we're not so, doing this. Have you ever beaten any raid in that gate? In the gate while in the game? <laughs> I I've beaten so many raids in all the gates. All um, them gates. I have you ever beaten a raid? Yeah, I beat the Vault of Glass on Destiny One when it first came out. Okay. And after like the sixth time I played it and I kept getting that stupid ass fucking cosmetic, I gave up. Yeah, that does that to a lot of people. No, Carlos. I, I don't think you understand. <laughs> it may do it to a lot of people, but what it was doing to me the entirety of I was playing Destiny and Destiny 2, I'm pretty sure I'm part of like that 1%. Where the code is just like recognizing my gamer tag, realizes who it's fucking attached to, and like, yeah, we're gonna turn everything down on this guy here. It's like, why? What did I do? I enjoyed your game, and then I can't because you won't give well, me anything to enjoy it. But yeah, no, Vault of Glass was the only one I beat. Uh, I did another raid that I didn't finish i can't remember which one it was i remember the only thing i remember from it is like there's like kind of like an invisible bridge of some kind and the person like only a certain person can go across like they're holding like an artifact or maybe like a sword or something and only they can go across i can't remember exactly the details but that's the 
Yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. The Crota one. <laughs> um, Jeremy just hopping out of nowhere. Cool. Right. That, that actually kind of Crota. scared me. I was, just, I was like, uh. Um, yeah. So thank you. That didn't make it through all the way of that one. Um, I've beaten the Crota one like probably a hundred times now. And yeah, I think well, that's the Super one, if I remember. Um, and then... The only raid I did on Destiny 2 was uh, whatever that fucking like weird one <laughs> the was. First I one? can't remember. Yeah, sure. We'll go with we'll the first one. We'll just say one. that. The There's one. like different <laughs> ways you could do it depending on like what door you opened or whatever. And there's like a oh. garden full of like these beefed up dog people that you. Yeah, that, yeah. The best yeah. way to take them out was about. to do it at the same time and all that shit. Yeah. Right. Didn't right. get to finish that one either. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. those are the only ones I've ever done. Yeah. The Leviathan. That one's called read. Leviathan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, Jeremy, <laughs> for being the voice in the back of my brain. Those two Thank times you, that Jeremy just said one <laughs> quick word, I'm just going to like maybe put it right on the video and like text Jeremy says this. Jeremy says this. <laughs> <laughs> So technically, Jeremy cool. is in this podcast, in spirit. In spirit for you guys. He, in he kind of makes me feel Live crazy because I, he was so us. quiet for a while that I forgot he was there. <laughs> so for a moment, I thought I was hearing things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and other news. Just thank you for that. Dr. Disrespect, it looks like that ban is permanent. Twitch did say that it will be a permanent ban, but they're not going to say the reason why. They just said he just got banned. And it looks like he is now considering taking legal action against Twitch for his ban. Because I guess they didn't give him any prior warnings. They didn't say anything. They just said, hey, dude, you're banned for life. Suck it. Is there, like, I mean, <sighs> does he even know why he was banned to begin with? Um... Or like what the I guess to him, there still remains were? no explanation. It just said that he just broke a rule in their terms and conditions, and that's it. That's all they keep saying. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna be an uh, an interesting fight, I guess. <laughs> if it's really gonna go down with him. Unless they Twitch have, like, this crazy, strong proof that he did something wrong. Like, this dude's going to walk it with so much freaking money. Yeah. Like, he doesn't already have enough of it, but, you know. I mean, that's usually how it goes. When you got money, you want more of it. Amen. <laughs> There's very few people in the world who are like, hmm, I got money, whatever. I got enough of it. It's cool. Yeah. I'll never yeah. say that. That's for sure. <laughs> um, I, I'm speaking okay of Twitch, with saying it simply because I make enough to support my expensive hobby. <laughs> so speaking of Twitch, I guess they had to reportedly force the U.S. Army to stop presenting viewers with fake giveaways that give recruiters their contact information. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Lie. That would really piss me off if they, if they did that to me. Yo, guys, come on now. <laughs> I get recruiters are trying to get people, but oh man, recruiters have, they, they've they tried to fuck with me in the past too. Like there was one time where I, like my, my uncle, he used to be a recruiter for the army and I had to go, I was like bringing him something. I think it was some sort of paper. I forgot what it was, but he wasn't in his office and like where his office is, it's like lined up with like, you know, the air force and the Navy, all those other places, you know, all those other recruiters and shit. And I think it was the air force that they were like, Oh yeah, your uncle, he'll be, he'll be right back in a sec. He just said he had to step out. You can hang out with us real quick. And I was like, all right, no problem. So I go inside, I hang out real quick. They asked me a bunch of random questions like, Oh, you have any interest in joining? You want to do this and that? And I was like, no, not really. I'm just bringing some paperwork to my uncle. No joke. Maybe 15 minutes, they just kept sitting there trying to talk to me and ask me questions and kept trying to like bring up, trying to sign up for the military. After 15 minutes, they're like, oh, by the way, we have no idea who your uncle is. We just wanted to talk to you and see if you would be interested in joining. We have no idea who he is and when he's coming back. 
Oh, it's like, all right, you shitheads. <laughs> like, yeah, but and I they, was like, you they totally guys do that, seriously though. just did this shit? Like, seriously? Yeah, it's just part of our job. I hope you... And I just walked out of the... I was so annoyed. I was like, wow, that was the stupidest thing yeah, to do man, to somebody. Like, they totally do. So I actually had kind of a similar experience, which I realize my saying that is a little bit strange. Why would I even be anywhere remotely close to something like that? <laughs> I was about to say, what are you doing next to a recruiter's office, Ern? Rico, I can't even remember why I was with Rico, but Fair enough. I was with him, and yeah, we were in like a, like a recruiter's office or some type of army place. He was doing some kind of paperwork, and I was just along for the ride, I guess. I think I was giving him a ride, or maybe... <laughs> I, I Yeah, I can't remember the exact fucking details, but I remember going with him, and I was minding my own goddamn business, just sitting in a chair, waiting to fucking leave, and one of the people comes up and he, kept, he was like asking me questions. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm doing fine. You know, I was being polite. And yeah. uh, this was also like after I had all, already graduated high school. So I was like maybe 18, 19, maybe a little bit older. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, he just kept asking me like random questions, small talk questions at first. And um then eventually he was like, so, yeah, what are you going to do? Are you still in school? I'm like, nah, I graduated high school. He's like, oh, cool. What are you going to do now? You know, maybe go to college. Because at the time I was thinking of actually going to college. What the fuck was wrong with me? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, What's cool, cool, cool. College? So uh, how, how are you going to pay for it? I'm like, you know, grants, tuitions, all that, whatever. Yeah. However I can pay for it, I'll pay for it. It's like, oh, do you think you can get grants for the whole thing? I'm like, uh, yeah. And eventually, like, Rico was sitting there listening to the whole thing, and he eventually just, like, looked at it. He's like, yeah, dude, he can do it. He's smart. And, like, eventually the dude finally backed off, but he never actually asked me if I was interested in joining or anything like that. He just kept trying to do, like, leading questions, like, well, I mean, if you join, it could be free. Uh, it's like, all right, dude. <laughs> like, wink, wink. First off, at that age, you don't want me anywhere near the fucking army. I was a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Second off, I am lazy as ass. You ain't going to get me doing anything. I like to think I take the same approach that Steve Harvey does in like a bit that he talks about where they were thinking of recruiting older citizens into the army. He's like, man, I ain't going over that fucking hill. Fuck you and that hill. <laughs> like that, that would be me. I would totally not be doing that. Like, be a great soldier. Hell no. <sighs> no, no, I wouldn't. I mean, <laughs> this, like I said, especially at that age, dude, like I don't do well with people telling me, what to do at all like i'm a little more reasonable when someone asks but like if someone's like yeah get that fucking go do this I'm like man fuck you i ain't doing that <laughs> god yeah i wouldn't last imagine very long. you saying that to like your sergeant or something <laughs> dude <laughs> <Fuck you. laughs> that's how it was though i was like super <laughs> aggro like granted i'm kind of aggro now but i'm a little more laid back about it i generally joke but yeah there i wouldn't have lasted very long i definitely would have been discharged just because people are tired of dealing with me <laughs> like <laughs> like you need to get out of here like i told you that at the beginning but you didn't want to listen <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah so uh, i guess twitch is stopping them from making fake giveaways because i guess they're using people's information just to try to recruit them that's just rude. Wouldn't that, like, be illegal in a way? <laughs> uh, well, not really. Maybe, like, in the fine print, they could say, like, you know, your information could be used for promotional purposes or some bullshit. But, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> That's what I figured, too. It's like, isn't that, is that legal? Because <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, I mean, fucking... Facebook had to go in front of a whole bunch of, like, congressmen and shit <laughs> and because they were using people's information for a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah, I would yeah. figure the exact same thing happened. 
Like, imagine getting a phone call, happen, too, and you're frankly. like, oh, shit, did I win the giveaway? And they're like, nah, 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 nah. We were just wondering if you're interested in joining. It's like, you motherfuckers. Right. Like, oh, okay. Well, let me let me tell you something real quick. I'm gonna block this fucking number. Right. <laughs> hey, you ain't ever gonna. Uh, that is the easiest way to lose people's interest. You stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, yeah, we got this giveaway going. It's completely fake. We just, uh, you know, we wanted to get your information that way we could get in touch with you. It's like, what the? Like, that's something you would expect from like a debt collector. <laughs> like, yeah, actually, that's, a, <laughs> that's one good way to put it. <laughs> like, I don't owe you nothing, asshole. <laughs> what the hell are you doing right now? Uh, so, back to the gaming news. Uh, they talked a little bit about Xbox, um, and I believe, what, in about a week or so, it's going to be the showcase. Um, one thing that I'm actually excited about for this showcase is that they announced that the showcase for Xbox will not cover any of the hardware. They're only going to talk about games. It's just games, which, hallelujah. We know enough I about mean, the I, hardware. Yeah. I mean, I didn't... All I needed to know was that a new console was coming out and that it was going to be bigger, better, faster, stronger, all that type of stuff. That, that's all yeah. I need to know. I don't need to know shit else about it. Let me know when I'm going to be able to play, however. And... Buddy, exactly. You got my I just attention. want to see some games. I want to see when they're coming out. They haven't announced the price for the Xbox just yet, have they? I don't think so. I haven't heard anything, but granted, I have also not been looking for a price. So, yeah, no, neither console has revealed their price yet. I think both companies are just trying to see who's going to jump first. Oh, and if sense. I was Xbox, yeah. I'd be like, you know what? Our new Xbox is a uh, hundred bucks, eh? just to see what PlayStation how they would react. So it wouldn't actually be a hundred bucks. You just you're like playing a fucking prank. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, no, no! Don't put that like on the Twitter or something. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> guess what? You're gonna have to sell that shit for a hundred bucks. I mean, Which quite frankly, I Carlos, buy- if you're joking about that, you probably shouldn't put it on anything. Because <laughs> yeah, people are going to take that and roll with it. And they're like, oh my God, it. it's 100 bucks. This is incredible. And then when it comes off as a joke, well, guess what? Your house is going to be on fire, Lawsuit. death threats, and people are breaking your car. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I, so I'm pretty sure that's why neither one has announced the price yet. I think they're just trying to wait for the other one to do it first. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, they're not, they're not going to cover the hardware anymore. It's just going to be games, which again, I'm excited about. Something else that they announced for Xbox, which is flipping awesome, their streaming service, the xCloud. It's going to be a part of Game Pass Ultimate, which is flipping awesome. The streaming service, a thing that you can pretty much play Xbox on the go, you know, on your phone, the tablet, whatever the hell you want to play on. Um, yeah, so it looks like that's going to be a part of um, Game Pass I already have it, so awesome. And, and you know, I mean, we were talking to our buddy Jeremy earlier. I still think I would have been a little upset if they charged extra for the xCloud. Just saying. But I'm glad they're not. I could see... If, well, I mean, if they did, it probably wouldn't bother me too much. It really depends on, like, how much, you know, would the technical, like, add-on be to Game Pass for yeah. such a service, but I mean, yeah, I don't think it would well, bother me too fine. much. I'm already paying the whole 15 a month for Ultimate. I don't want to add like another 10, 15, whatever they would, they were planning on charging. I don't know if they were ever planning on charging it, but charging for it, I mean, but I'm glad that yeah. they're not. So thanks guys. Yeah. If anything, that's probably a smart move, by far, for sure. Because, you know, if anyone doesn't have Game Pass at that point, now they do have an additional incentive to get it. So, that might be possibly what they're aiming for, is to bring more people in just with the uh, the concept. Or I guess the ability now, not necessarily the concept. Yeah. Well... 
good for them. <laughs> um, <laughs> good for those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Carlos. Uh, also, uh, they also Xbox did post a little teaser for Halo Infinite. It's not really much; just a quick uh, GIF, GIF, whatever people call it. Everyone has a different name for it. It just shows them uh, just like the chest plate of Master Chief showing the one one seven. That's it, though. That's all it shows. So it shows nothing, but it's a little teaser. No, that's nothing. That's like a little teaser. No, it's I was not. teased. I, Tick, I, tickled me a little bit. No, I wasn't teased. I wasn't teased oh. at all. That, that's you don't like nothing. that tease? No. There's nothing behind that. <laughs> <laughs> so angry. That's, that's like fucking, you know. It's, yeah, no, there was nothing. There was all absolutely right. nothing. I, I almost wanted to compare it to a strip tease, but I don't. I was losing track of my fucking brain. Like. Dude, I've had a rough time talking this week. <laughs> I There's see a that. disconnect between my head and my mouth, and my brain, brain is thinking of shit to say, but my mouth is just saying <laughs> shit that doesn't match. So, it's okay. It's, we I, just have a few more things to talk about. It's no worries. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Moving along. Um, they've also announced Xbox One X and all digital edition consoles have been will be discontinued or are discontinued. The only thing that will continue to be sold is the One S until the Series X comes out, of course. So, yeah, they've already uh, stopped the One X and any digital edition of their consoles. Mm. Well, it makes sense. New console. One, Time to focus on the new shit. I get it. Yeah. yeah, I've already got mine. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> it is just whatever. Like, I got it. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. It absolutely makes sense. Gotta do an overhaul and, you know, put focus on I don't think the, on the One S shit. will stay alive as long as the 360 did, but, yeah, it's okay. Mm, All right. Not. It's... Speaking of the Series X, they also announced backwards compatibility will include almost all Xbox One games at launch, which is yeah, just actually, great. That is great because, so, <laughs> Jeremy knows this about me. I tend to go on a random buying spree every hmm. so often, usually a couple of times a week, if not more. Um, I mean, I'll just like browse the store, see if there's any been been any new games that come out or if there's any new pre-orders up well yesterday there was a pre-order up for assassin's creed valhalla i was like fucking yes immediately got it but like the first sentence or like first line of text it gives you before it even tells you anything about the freaking game is that it will be available on the new console and you don't have to buy it again You'll just own it already when it becomes available on the new console. Oh, well, that's freaking awesome. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a little bit different than backwards compatibility because it's just going to be the game that was that's created yeah. for that version of Xbox. But right. like the sheer fact that I, I've already got the game and now I don't have to buy it again on the next Xbox makes me so happy. Granted, I probably would have done it anyways. Like, I have multiple copies of almost every single Assassin's Creed game because they keep re-releasing it. I'm like, oh, well, I got to get it now. But it's, uh, I definitely loved seeing that, especially when it was like the first line of text. I didn't even, I didn't even see anything about Assassin's Creed. All I saw was like, I can't remember the verbatim of it, but using the new technology, it will be available on the new Xbox as soon as it is released. Like, or as soon as the game is released for it. It's like, fuck it, yes! So, I guess I'm yeah, playing it I'm really multiple happy times it. anyway. <laughs> really happy Unless, about it, because then that way, if you don't want to hold on to the old Xbox One, then you don't have to, so it's kind of nice. It is kind of nice. I mean, I'm s- still going to. Oh, I've me held too. on to yeah. every freaking console I've owned so far, except for... Yeah. No, no, yeah, no, I still own every single console I've ever. I mean, eventually I might sell my old Xbox. We'll see. But the only, I mean, 
the only thing that won't be backwards compatible, which I don't really give a shit, it's any game that requires a connect. I don't have one. Don't care. I have a connect. connect. You got one? <laughs> well, for the Xbox yeah, One got... or the 360? No, it's for Xbox One. Oh, I got the 360 Cause, version. Because it was, it was the, uh, it's the connect that came with the Xbox One. Like they were selling it with uh, it, which is why it was like amped up in price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I have one. <laughs> I think I used it like the first for I used it. Or, well, I didn't use it at all actually, but I had it connected, and it was enabled and powered on, but I never actually used it. Eventually, I just had to turn it off, though, because that fucking thing recognizes, like, the word Xbox from everything. Yep. <laughs> and it doesn't, you don't even have to be anywhere remotely close. It doesn't even have to sound like it. It's just like, oh, you called? Like, no, no, I didn't. Stop listening, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> like, get off. You are in my way. It especially wasn't helpful, like, when I was playing games that had like the voice command features you know and suddenly i'm just starting to like the game is starting to do random shit because it seems to recognize my saying something when i didn't actually say it oh my like, god okay. it was the best thing how at one point i remember all of us had that voice activated thing like if you say it, you know, <laughs> xbox and it pops i remember so many times we're all playing like call of duty or something and or and what was it like what were the, I forgot the words you have to tell it because you're like in the middle of fighting and then you're like cancel or stop or it's some shit like that. fucking stop listening. Stop listening. Is. That's the, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How often we were playing Call of Duty and you just hear in the middle of the battle, just go, get him, get him. Stop listening. That's the best <laughs> fucking thing ever. Oh my God. How many times we got fucked by the voice command thing. It was so great. Dude, it was not great. Not great at all. <laughs> it was it funny when it happened to, to somebody you. else, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, but hearing your partner screaming it, it's like, oh my god, that was the best thing ever. Stop yeah. listening! Damn it! There were after some... that, after so many times, we just disconnect our connects or just turn off all voice <laughs> activate. That's what I did. I just turned off all voice crap. Screw that. Yeah, I just turned the damn thing off. Like, it's still technically connected to the Xbox, but it it doesn't do anything. It's just paperweight. I've disabled. Yeah, it is. And it just sits there. So I basically use it as a stand for my Wii U's, like, little sensor bar. <laughs> <laughs> like, that like, works, too. Yeah. It fucking sits there perfectly. It's perfect size and everything. <laughs> so, like, cool. That's what your use is going to be. <laughs> you are now a stand for this. <laughs> oh, man. The Connect was just... It was a fail. When it first came out, I was like... And then, you know, I saw what people in action playing, and I was like, uh, I don't see this lasting too long. I really don't. It lasted a few years, but it just, there weren't really any great games for it. That and its responsiveness is very lackluster. Fucking <laughs> horrible. Yeah, no, if they want to do more, <laughs> if, if Xbox wants to kind of get in on that whole, you know, virtual reality or some kind of shit or motion, I don't know. They, they need to step up their game on that because... That was bad. Yeah, that was um, that was a horrendous, horrendous idea to try and bring. Like, I will, I will offer props for trying to, you know, bring a new kind of experience. But yeah, don't be sh- like Nintendo. You guys should have just gave up on the first iteration. <laughs> yeah, don't try to bring something up and then every year you think you improved it, but it's just the same old piece of crap and yeah yeah don't do that i mean it, you say that but nintendo did in fact improve on the motion controls <laughs> they just uh, need to stop trying to fucking true. pound them into took everything them like 10 years but you know it took them a long time uh, yeah but you know the wii <laughs> was a piece of crap with it the wii u was a little bit better the switch is infinitely better in my mind, oh, yeah. I still need to... I, I just think they need to quit. Like, stop with the motion controls. No one gives a shit. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, me uh, Me personally, I don't 
I don't care. I don't. I really don't give a shit about motion control. I'd rather just play with the controller. That's it. How video games yeah. should be played. If I want to do motion control, I'll hop into like a VR type of thing. That's what I'm saying. Like that's the only time I'm actually gonna be like interested in wanting to be able to like move my arms and see my arms move it. Kind of. Yeah. Deal. Let it be uh, a that, VR thing. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Just a few more things before we call it a podcast. Huh. <laughs> So Sony, speaking of, you know, release, you know, the upcoming consoles, I guess they're, they have increased production for their launch window. So they're, or let me see, I guess they added 3 million more consoles um, to their production by, before release. So they're just, they're trying to up their game. They think they're going to sell that much. Again, though, I think it all depends on the price. If somehow, if Microsoft is dead serious about selling their shit for a hundred bucks less, yeah, I think Microsoft's gonna sell way more. Yeah, that was definitely possible. But I mean, even regardless of the price, as long as it's not particularly unreasonable. Like PS3, I, seven hundred. Well, yeah, God, was... I, I hope they're not. No company is ever that stupid enough to do that again. I mean, you you realize mobile phones are more expensive. We we've talked about this. Yeah, but that's <laughs> different. You don't you can't count mobile phones as like a gaming console. Motherfucker. And I agree, don't get me wrong. I think a mobile phone being a thousand plus dollars is horseshit. I think it's ridiculous for a tiny little fucking five inch screen. Yeah, no, no, no. I think that's pretty ridiculous, but... Absolutely. Yeah. But, yeah. No, I, like, as long as the price is reasonable, like, PlayStation announcing that they have more consoles coming for production for launch is definitely the best move. Yeah, those consoles are going to sell quickly. Oh, they are. <laughs> it's a new I, console. It's not like, you know, the pro version or the upgraded version no no this is the next gen so of course these things are going to sell up the ass exactly so the sheer fact that they're trying to put in the effort to make sure that they can meet a portion of the demand i don't even know yeah. if i can say majority maybe majority i, just, fuck, I don't know but the effort is being made and i can appreciate that and knowing me, I'm going to buy one of those PlayStations. And then, and then you're going to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to buy it again and sell that one. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, knowing me, I'm, it might happen. Just That's just who I am. That's um, just who you are, Carlos. Meanwhile, <laughs> I am going to buy it. And I am going to run the thing ragged like I did with my first 360 that I've ever owned. Because I still use it. Or I can still technically use it. Just, uh, Still can't believe you have that shit. Dude, that thing is a fucking champion. It is it old is. and breaking down, and it should not be running, but it can still run. <laughs> Even so, after it dies, oh. you just got to save it. Did, are you kidding me? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's got to be like it a trophy. It is staying actually. with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A few more things. Uh, three more things, actually, real quick. I mean, see, I got this news out. More for Ed, because I thought he was going to be in this thing, because I guess Apex Legends is teasing for a new character and a map that's going to be coming, so, but you know, Ed's not here, so we can't talk about that too much, but a new character and map are coming, it looks like. So get that's ready, cool. you Apex Legend fans, yeah! Yeah! yeah. I'd yeah, like to be a fan, I, can, I just, yeah, I just never play it. Uh, I'd, I'd play, play with Ed, but you know, Ed months. never shows online, so I can never tell if he's actually there or not. That's true. <laughs> I, I love the way that Ed does that too. When he's always like, "You guys are never on," or nobody ever plays games. It's like, no, 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 we're online. You just like to hide from us. Yeah, like, that's your fault. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and message you like, "Hey, dude, you online? I want to play." Like, I'm just gonna play something else. If I don't already see you online, I don't care. <laughs> right, I'm the same way. And, um, I mean, so that's also a lie because I wouldn't actually message anybody and be like, hey, you want to play? Because I don't. <laughs> that's true. You never do. <laughs> nope. We got to bother you if we want to play. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> but I'm the only solo gamer besides Jeremy out of all of us. So I'm a solo gamer just 
I just play the most uh, random stupid shit. Yeah, you're a solo gamer, but you don't do it for the fun of it. You do it for the achievements. That's an entirely different Oh, thing. yeah, that's true. I just, yeah, I'm a, I'm a hunter. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll take yeah. it. All right. <laughs> hey, if anybody plans on buying Microsoft Flight Simulator hard copy, guess what? It comes with 10 discs. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, I saw that headline. I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I have to read it and yeah. A physical version of Microsoft Flight Simulator is 10 discs. I guess it'll save you 90 gigs to download for the game. Unless you want to buy it all digitally, it's uh, well over 100 plus gigs that you have to download. Or, actually, I'm sorry, 150 gigs you need for the game if you want to download the whole thing. Or you can save 90 gigs for yourself and just get 10 discs to uh, use for the game. I know you plan on buying that one, Ernie. Like fucking old school Metal Gear Solid Final Fantasy shit where I have or to open a Final damn Fantasy. booklet. <laughs> what was it? I think part Dis, eight like, was what, four discs. Like, what was I on? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's the most I've seen in a game was four, I believe. Ten, though. Damn. Dude. Huh. That's a lot. <laughs> My head is spinning. Like... Uh, frankly, no, I'm not getting that for multiple reasons. One, I am not downloading a game that's 150 gigs. I already downloaded one, and I fucking hated it, which is why I uninstalled it. This is Call of Duty, by the way. It's called and... Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly what you were so, talking about. Yeah, I am not about to <laughs> waste space on a flight simulator, which is the second reason why I wouldn't do it. I... Damn, Damn, that thing. It better be. So fucking in depth. Like, I believe those things are. Yeah, I think those are like those crazy hardcore. I've seen like clips of it, and it's it's pretty impressive. But like of the older games, I mean. Like, is it like? Is it a VR experience at all, or is it just fucking? You gotta deal with keyboard, mouse, controller, however you wish to play it, kind of deal. I, if I remember, I could have sworn I've seen some folks like do it both ways. Like you can play, you know like a normal video game, and I, I've seen some people do some sort of flight simulator with the VR, so it could be both ways. I hope. I would hope it's VR, because if it is like 150 gigs, and every single button does something, and if I have to <laughs> freaking move a cursor to each damn button <laughs> to get what I need to do, that's going to be so tedious. Oh my god, that will not work for a lot of people. Yeah. VR probably a better experience in that regard so i i would understand one the size and two why people would bother well technically i understand why people bother with simulation games in general but it's not my thing i don't particularly like them fucking 150 yeah. gigs yeah no thank you it's a big <laughs> game that's yeah, a big <sighs> game <laughs> Uh, I already and, buy a lot uh, of games. I need the space. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I know. No kidding. And then last but not least, um, I don't know how you feel about the book or the movie, but it looks like um, the sequel to Ready Player One, uh, the uh, sequel novel, has been announced for November 24th. And you can pre-order it now if you want. What's it called? Didn't Ready even Player know there was two? a part two coming. No, I guess this book is Ready Player Two. It is coming out November 24th. Oh, it is called Ready Player Two. Okay. It is called Ready Player Two. That's... Oh, wait, is that what you asked? I thought you asked, like, isn't there already a Ready Player Two? I didn't hear you actually no, say that, is that it is... called. <laughs> yeah, that's what it said. <laughs> what was it called? Ready Player Two? You're like, no, it is called Ready Player Two. I'm like... Oh, Okay. No, no. <laughs> I thought you said, like, wasn't there already a Ready Player 2? I was like, oh, no, 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 not yet. But, yes, they did announce it. Part 2 is coming out. I loved – I never read the book. I'm going to have to read it sometime. But I did see the movie. I enjoyed the movie. A lot of people were, like, eh about it, but I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. A lot of Easter eggs and shit, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I saw it over really at Rico's. Cool it, was, it was a pretty decent movie. Yeah. Um, well, they're That's making not a movie two. like I would write home about. But, yeah, like, as far as, like – a movie just based on that culture, you know? It was really cool. 
just to see all that shit come together. So I will give it many props there. The book itself, no, I've never read. It's been recommended to me um, by a good friend of mine a long time ago, before the movie was even fucking released. But, uh, yeah, I never actually got around to reading it. I might read the second book. I've seen the movie of part one. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see what part two, what happens in part two, especially the way part one ended. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be, didn't really, you know, say what the book was going to be about. Dude, don't, don't do that. You read the first book and then you read the second book. You don't fucking use your knowledge on the movie and read the sequel. You ain't my dad. Dude, I won't fucking be your daddy on this, you <laughs> asshole. Like, <laughs> you read the first book and then you read the second book, or you don't read either. Well, that's yeah, your we'll choice. See. No, there is no we'll see. You read the first book, then you read the second. Because we all know not every freaking movie actually follows the book. So. Be smart. Well, if you're going to read the yeah, sequel, fine, I guess read I'll the first read one. It. Yes, father. Plus, there's, thank you, son. Plus, there's probably... Thank you, son. <laughs> there's probably an infinite number of details that could have been left out from the movie or even changed. Oh, yeah. They always do that kind of shit. with From books to movies. Yeah, yeah. They always do that. Yeah. They always cut out so much from all the that's, books. That's why you can't just be like, oh, well, you know what? I think I'm going to read the sequel, even though I've never read the first one. Like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I have every right to be that asshole. So, uh, that's going to call it for the podcast. Unless there was anything else you wanted to talk about. Did you want to, you know, talk a little shit about Ed or I don't know. I do that on a daily basis, man. Yeah, that's true. Me too. All the time. <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, it is the best pastime because I always come away smiling. <laughs> Happy to hear it, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, hopefully... But no, I don't, I don't have anything I want to say or anyone I particularly want to rag on at the moment. I'm sure I can okay. think of somebody, but, you know, I'm just... I'm in a pleasant mood. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You're in a pleasant mood. I like me too in a pleasant mood. It feels good. That's mostly because I actually got sleep. So, <laughs> oh yay! Uh, yes, yes. So I'm not well cranky and bitter. Hopefully, Ed can join us in the next podcast. He had to. He was pulled aside, unfortunately, before we could start. Um, and then we could maybe get Jeremy in the next one as well. But, anyways, we are going to call it a podcast. Thank you so much for listening to us. Um, be sure to follow us over at Twitter at Lamb Party Prod or Productions, but you know, just P R O D. So at Lamb Party Prod, or you could follow me at, at Calming Temper. Ernie, I know you lo- use Twitter all the time, maybe like once every I 10 do. years. I but actually already forgot Ernie. what my login was. <laughs> well, your username is at Arcane Sin, which is S Y N. So. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's what it was. Oh, well, that's what it was. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on episode 31 of the LP3. And we will see you for the next podcast. Podcast next time. Ooh, what's that number? 33, 2, 1? We're on 31 right now. Oh, we're on 1 right now. Okay. Yeah. Next time on 32. We, we should get the fucking, like, that DBZ guy on the next episode. On the of... next episode <laughs> of yeah. LP3. LP. Cute. And then that music. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. I should do that yeah. from, from now on. And, I mean, you need, you need to have somebody screaming in the background, too. So, like, Rah! You can power up as I do the ending. It's perfect. Yeah. People are going to love that shit. <laughs> they will <laughs> just keep screaming in the background <laughs> it's like what is happening back there don't worry about it <laughs> I am reaching god I fucking hate that they call it super saiyan super saiyan god <laughs> it's so stupid that could be on the next on the next podcast we vent <laughs> about dragon ball z 
<laughs> uh, I don't. I don't have too many things to actually vent about Dragon Ball Z. Just some of their naming conventions is a little ridiculous. <laughs> Like, uh, really? All right, well, till next time, Internet. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. Goodbye, sweet audience. I oh will miss God. you. What? Why? Carlos, you interrupted. I was serenading.